We just had breaking information just come out about new stuff for GTA 6, specifically what the plot for the game and campaign is going to be, and also some new locations and potential islands that we're going to be able to visit in game, a part of the new map for GTA 6. So make sure you guys stick around. You're not going to want to miss it. This information literally just came out earlier this morning. But this all came out via an insider known as Tyler McVicker, which a brief background in case you guys don't know who this is. He is actually the founder of the Valve News Network. Network, which in case you guys don't know what Valve is, it's a very big game creating company that has created massive, massive titles like CSGO. But he actually was the founder and starter of the news network that reported on all the upcoming games, news, leaks, updates, and pretty much kept everyone up to date with everything. And he has very reliable insider connections with other game titles and makers such as Rockstar, which is why this information we're getting from him is very, very reliable stuff. But the GTA 6 leaker account tweeted saying GTA 6 will reportedly include a part of Cuba's island alongside Vice City and will feature flashbacks to add depth to the plot launching in 2024 and for more insight on where he's getting this information from this is actually coming from a live stream that Tyler McVicker did a few days ago where the article goes on to say while responding to questions during a live stream Tyler McVicker is asked if he knows anything about GTA 6 he instantly responds that it's a retelling of Bonnie and Clyde's story which he suggests means that we already know how it's likely to end McVicker then quickly rattles off some things he knows about the game, including that it has two playable characters, has a time jump of some kind, and will feature Cuba as a playable area on the map. So this is some very valuable information. We already knew there was going to be two main characters. We've already made a video in the past covering these characters and uh, their storyline and lore of why they're on the GTA storyline. But one new piece of information here that's very big is the fact that he said Cuba will be a playable area, which makes a lot of sense. A lot of people are speculating that the map that we are going to get for GTA 6 is going to be based on the coast of Florida somewhere, most likely Miami. So it makes a lot of sense that Cuba will be a playable area since that is literally off the coast and it shares the same ocean. And this also does confirm that maybe there is going to be multiple different maps and islands and we're not going to be constricted to just one single map. Maybe once you get on a boat or a plane and go over to Cuba, the map and everything that you pull up will be completely different or there might just be a big bridge or something that connects them and they're trying to make it seem all interconnected as one big map. Now, there was also a few people, a part of the GTA community here that were replying to these tweets and new pieces of information that also had their own cool ideas of foreshadowing and Easter eggs that Rockstar has actually done. But one is coming from the Rockstar News Twitter account who goes on to tweet saying, Guarma of Red Dead 2 was a test for a tropical environment for GTA 6. Also, there was assets of modern guns found in the Red Dead 2 code. And if you guys don't know what this means, Red Dead 2 was Rockstar's last big video game release. It is kind of similar to GTA in the sense that it's very realistic with real life graphics, weapons, animations, and it's meant to be a pretty realistic remake of like the older and western times, which I think is why everyone really enjoys it. But this guy is pointing out that Guarma, a map or island in Red Dead 2, has already tested the tropical environment, which is obviously a great way for Rockstar to test their assets, animations, the design of everything to make sure it looks how it wants, so when they release it for GTA 6. And they also found modern guns in the files as well for this map which means that maybe they're testing some of the early stages of GTA 6's weapons and new guns coming into the game in Red Dead 2 since the engine and gameplay mechanics might be pretty similar. Now, we also had another tweet coming from Mohammed who said, we also had Cayo Perico in GTA Online which is near Cuba in the Caribbean and it's all about drug cartels. So this is kind of giving us some information that, hey, maybe this has some connection to the GTA Online map with Cayo Perico and maybe the uh, addition of Cuba will actually expand on this storyline of the drug cartels and everything and who knows maybe this actually exposes like the main storyline of GTA 6 I do think it'll be a little bit deeper than some drug cartels but that definitely could be a big plot to the storyline or at least like a little side mission or something that you could do while visiting the new Cuba Island which is 100% confirmed so there is a lot of speculation here but it is cool that we do have some insider information coming from Tyler McVicker shout out to that guy for giving us this info man he very easily could have just kept it to himself so it's cool that he's sharing his information information he has over on his live stream. But that's all we got for you guys today. If you're excited for the addition of Cuba and all this new information, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. We're going to be posting daily GTA 6 leaks, information, and pretty much everything you guys need to know about the GTA 6 online experience. So make sure you guys subscribe. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.